It is Friday, January 20th, 2023. And we have a little sun outside, uh, sun outside after quite a few days of rain. So here is the very dormant allotment garden. As you can see, there is much to be done. A lot of cars, forgive the noise. Still have to put up some infrastructure and wondering which things I should replace, where I should put them, etc. But it's early, I still have time to figure this out. The tomato arch has gone through a change. I am looping it through my upright supports here um, so that when somebody walks under the tomato arch, it's actually above their head. And last year, I just did it to my height and that was very selfish of me, and I'm sorry, because there are lots of tall people out there who need to walk through tomato arches too. The roses, I'm just leaving be for right now. I'm curious to uh, collect some of the seed heads, see if it's possible to grow a rose seedling. The dahlias are covered up, mulched, the grape right here, <clears throat> that's something I have to do pretty soon. I'd really like to do a cordon style viticulture here and maybe select a few canes to build that on, but I haven't quite made any final decisions yet. So we shall see. Nothing but weeds around here. Nothing but weeds in my sad chard. But the berry patch is looking nice. Very thickly mulched. A lot of the bushes have, let's see if it'll, have really nice buds forming. So I hope that that means flowers. And the new ones also I can see are doing well. I mean, there are buds. It's not leafing out yet. This one, the pink lemonade blueberry, has flower buds and vegetative buds. And the hascaps, they are, excuse me, just starting to leaf out. The huckleberries are not quite there yet, but they're alive and I can see some vegetative buds and maybe one or two potential flower buds. We'll see. Blueberries are doing pretty good. Lingonberry. Uh, you can see the flower buds forming. They're very small. Cranberry, I'm not sure about yet. That's pretty new. And then the goji looks dead, but it always comes back. So we shall see. That is the garden. And let's go check out the second plot now. I'll just walk there so you can see. second plot, number 50. Looks like it's been taken really nice, it's been taken care of um, by the previous steward. And they have planted a really nice cover crop of what looks like clover. Whew, sorry. And so I'm just gonna let it be for now. And then this is gonna become a pumpkin patch. I think pumpkin and squash and uh, we'll see how it goes. And this is the daffodil plot or walk. Daffodil walk, I think is what I'm calling it. And I have things growing. Not everything is a daffodil. Planted several hundred different types 
of flowers. So cute. I don't know what it is, but it's just green and bright and got a lot of good energy. So feeling good about that one. And there's a few of them, you'll see these kind of green spikes. So that's one thing. Also, there's this thing. Not sure what that is. Could be a snowdrop. It's looking a ye little yellow, but I'm gonna keep taking care of it. This one, that looks interesting. I'm wondering if it's a squill. Not sure. Another of these green stems. Mostly it's just these green stems every once in a while. There was, there is the snowdrop, Calanthus nivalis, and the flower's been eaten, but I want the leaves to get lots of energy. Something green there. Who knows? Another green spike. small coming up here. Another thing there. Got more of a bluish green. Spike. What else we got here? What can we find? Ooh. Something. Something popping up there. Ooh. Something there. And another little spike. All right, one last look. Ooh. There. Maybe. Who knows? Not cute yet, but I'm getting there. Look at what those monsters have done. <gasps> well, that's probably my footprint, actually. So I, I can't necessarily blame the deer for making some marks. I don't see anything coming up yet. That, something blooming. Yeah. Nothing yet. Ooh, what's that? Nope. And I don't expect it to. I'd be worried if it was coming up. If it were coming up. Hi guys. I was just talking about you. Not necessarily good. Not necessarily good. I know you're gonna eat my food this year. And I know I feed you. I give you all those apples. And so I'm responsible. But I just can't help it. They're so cute. Okay. I'm gonna go about my business.